mercy shine bright. on your side. He's about to open somebody's eyes. Let us Yes, 
Don't even play soccer. Go watch the movies. Go read the books. Say hello to your voodoo kids. Look like I got some and just say peace and love. Be multiplied. See you next time. We open your eyes. Never return to the blind. Somebody say, I'm not going back. After the second touch. God told Elijah, let me pray. Forget about Jezebel. I'm getting ready to give you a revelation of a still small voice. And I want you to go down to Syria. Anoint Haziel. You're going to make a Gentile king. Then come on back into Israel and anoint Jehu. Make him the unexpected king of Israel. And most importantly, find you a little man named Elisha. And tell him to come pour water on your hands. He's your replacement. Because it won't be much longer. And the enemies of Jehu will slew, slay the enemies of Syria. And the enemies of the Moabites will slay the enemies of Jehu. And Elisha will succeed you, and I'm taking you to heaven. And you won't even have to die. That meal I gave you, that second touch, I'm going to let a whirlwind come. Catch you up. Carry the fire. And let your mantle fall at Elisha's airspace. Tell somebody you need the second touch. God's got some more work for you to do. Take your nigga by the hand. Take your nigga by the hand. Can't serve God bound. Can't serve God bound. Under a yoke. Can't serve God with a confused mind. Can't serve God with a double-minded spirit. You can't serve God complaining and murmuring. You can't serve God being stalked by the hard memories of your past. Amen. Every sin you ever committed is under the blood. The last thing the devil could ever bring against me is black man. Because any sin I've ever committed, I'll probably tell you more about it than you can stand right. Right. Because I already know, I already know that it's there for now. No condemnation. No condemnation. Yeah. The both that are in Christ Jesus. Tell your neighbor, you can't blackmail me. I'm covered by the blood. Tell your neighbor, nobody can blackmail you. You're covered by the blood. You can't serve God when folks are setting you up and threatening you and intimidating you. God will give you the second touch that will last you 40 days. Say yes, Lord. You're ready to pray and I want to cast out a demon. Yes, God. Yes, God. There's a reason for this second touch. There's a reason why cancer didn't take you out. There's a reason why you didn't die on the operating table. There's a reason why the bullet only grazed you. Yes, Lord. Man got so mad at me one time, took a knife to stab me in the back while I was cooking over the grill. And God let a loaf of bread drop right off the top of the <laughs> shelf. And the knife got stuck in the bread. And I will admit, I took him outdoors and beat him to a pulp. I was wrong. I was wrong. Boss man said, now you a Christian, you shouldn't have done that. I told him that's right, that's right, I did it. Thank God, we both survived. Tell him don't try to stab me in the back room. Why don't y'all say, help us Lord. Help us Lord. Do you know what? I only tell people what I must tell because I know everything God has brought you through is to get you ready for what he has. Down the road with your self-righteous uppity gossiping. Looking down your nose. Phony, fake, hypocritical self. Elijah was in a bad state of mind. But God said, I'm not going to leave you in this stupor. 
feeling sorry for yourself, running like a scared kitty. Get up, man, and eat. Lay down and get up and eat again. There's a journey that's waiting for your sign. Let me hear back. Tell your neighbor, stay out of fight if you can. Tell your neighbor, stay out of fight. to uh, give me utterance yes, that you have laid on my heart for this hour. Yes, Lord. <laughs> I wish you more than I didn't want to preach like that. I want to preach a very manicured convocation sermon today. And people in here that almost are going to blow their second touch. He's telling somebody you're too old. That's the devil lying to you. You're finished, you're washed up. But he has a second touch. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And many of you, like I, you made mistakes. You have fallen from grace. You made Regrettable decisions. And the enemy is telling you that was your grand finale. That's the devil lying. Yes, Lord. Fool will fall and never rise again, but a wise man falls seven times. God will raise him up again. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Sometimes it went too far. Sometimes it didn't go far enough. And about the money. And about the money. Shout out, Boko Shout out. About the money. Money carries with it a spirit. Do not let the power of the enemy bind you because of the money. You're not the first one to write a bad check. You're not the worst one, the first one to go bankrupt. You're not the first one. To to face a foreclosure, and neither you the first one to rip somebody off. But when he gives you the second touch, he'll not only show you your way of escape, but he will turn on the bright light. Well, that will never happen again, and you will become the lender. I'm a witness. I am a witness. He will make you the lender and not the borrower. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And no matter what the doctor says, No matter what your diagnosis, and I've seen the ugly ones, no matter what your diagnosis, say this with me, I shall not die. I shall live, I shall live. To, declare to declare the works of the Lord. I want you to say, and another thing, my ministry is not over. Say it again, my ministry is not dead. It's not over. It's, not over. it's just in life for a second touch. You tell your neighbor near you, get ready now for a second touch. Elijah got it. The blind man got it. God specializes in giving a second touch. Tell your neighbor, get ready. Let me do this in the name of bring that on, bring that on. Do you believe if you are in the bond of agreement that God will give you what you ask? If any two of you, I want a witness in here, will do what? Agree on earth as touching anything that you ask of my father, he will do it. I want you to find one or two people near you. 
and say, we're about to pull this stronghold down. Just find one or two folks. And we're agree with you. And on the right, you had the right thing. Walk around these walls and then get ready to shout. The person that's in your hand, crack glass, crass, glass, glass, right now. The person that's in your hand, class, right now. Grass, grass. <laughs> Stronghold down. In the name of Jesus. You only know what it is. You only know what the need is. And you already know it seems impossible. But by the agreement of the believers, in the name of Jesus, sickness.
say these words. I'm gonna give you some of this best oil until it runs out. It's only about 100 bottles. You take that oil, put it with your oil. And let this be a memorial today. That the yoke shall be destroyed. The cost of the what? Anointing. Anointing. Yes, sir. Will you tell the person near you? This is a down the road anointing. This is a down the road anointing. It will last you a long time. Long. When the benediction is when the service is over. When you're back on the battlefield. Let him do that way, brother. Let him do that way.